Hey everyone, welcome back to Beard Cubing 101. My name is Joe, I'm your host, The Beard of Cuber. Okay, so today's video, uh, I'm gonna show you how to solve the three by four by five, this cube right here. And uh, in the previous video, I showed you how to solve the two by three by four. Uh, it was a three part video, part one, two, and three. I highly suggest you watch this video uh, to get yourself truly familiarized with um, how this cube works so that you can take all your knowledge and translate it into this cube because if you don't do that you're gonna be uh, pretty much lost um, okay so relying heavily on your knowledge of this video uh, let's get into this one a little bit uh, this is probably gonna be a three-part uh, series as well um, so in part one I'm gonna show you um, we're just gonna keep it in cube cuboid form, um, but I'm gonna you know point out. I'll have the camera up close like I usually do. Then I'm gonna point out exactly what you're gonna what you're looking to get, um, and then I'm gonna show you how to go about uh, achieving that goal, and uh, then ultimately just getting it back into cuboid form. Um, so then the second part of the video will show you how to uh, get all the colors back uh, color coordinated. And then I think the third part is just going to be um, some odds and ends stuff, things that you're going to need to know. Um, and, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of videos, so let's uh, let's get started. So uh, remember, knowing how to solve this small cube first is going to be essential in being able to solve this one. So with orange on top, white facing us, green on the left, blue on the right, let's get started. The first thing that you're looking to do is get... Uh, these two orange, uh, these two white pieces together. So this one here and this one. So um, the one that says MF8 and the one directly above it. Um, and then this center here, this blue, this um, yellow and this yellow, uh, this green and this green. Okay, so that's going to be step number one. Then what we're looking to do is um, we're going to flip it upside down. Okay, so with yellow, uh, orange on the bottom, uh, we're going to be concentrating our efforts on uh, this section of the cube right here, or this layer. Um, so we're going to be looking to get these two corners and these two corners. Uh, remember, in step one, this one would have already been solved. Um, in step three, we're going to be looking to get uh, these two corners, these two corners, and uh, the center and the center. Uh, step four, we're going to be looking to get uh, these two corners down here, these two corners down here. And then step five, we're looking to solve the top. Uh, obviously, these two corners, these two corners, and uh, these two centers over here. So I know that sounds complicated, but at least you have the foundation of knowing what you're looking for. So let's uh, go ahead and scramble the cube and then we'll get started. I'll show you how to solve that. Okay, so um, we're gonna keep it in um, uh, cuboid form and we're gonna start the uh, scrambling process. Now, uh, the longer you have this cube, the looser it's gonna get and uh, go slow with it because, you know, mine has gotten to the point where if I, uh, try to do any kind of corner cutting with it or, or anything like that, um, it is going to fall apart on me. So um, just be extra cautious about scrambling it. You know, take your time. Um, I kind of felt it getting uh, hooked up right there. And, um, you know, don't push the cube is basically what I'm getting at um, because it will fall apart. Um, okay, so now that we just get a pretty good decent little scramble. I mean, you don't have to go nuts or anything. Just keep it in cuboid form. Um, when you feel like it's sufficiently scrambled enough in cuboid form, now we can go ahead and start um, shape shifting it. Now, please keep in mind, the more you shape shift it, the more unstable this cube is going to get. Okay. Uh, so just do what you can. And again, it, sh it shape shifts and handles just like, um, uh, this cube right here um, where um, you have to do these 180 degree full turns because if you only do like a 90 degree turn like that it's just going to get locked up it's not going to go anywhere it's going to look more scrambled than it actually is um, but 
that doesn't help you scramble the cube at all and it certainly doesn't help you move the cube around okay so right here it was just getting real sketchy right there with uh, those pieces feeling like they're gonna fall apart on me um, but do whatever you can uh, to get a good solid scramble um, I think that's pretty good I you know whatever I feel like that's pretty good and again, uh, if you want to make it look like it's more scrambled than it is, then just do a 90 degree turn here and here. And of course it's locked up, but you know, it looks more scrambled than it actually is. So to unlock it, just uh, do one of those deals and it's now unlocked. Okay, so uh, that's how you scramble the cube. So I just went ahead and scrambled the cube just a touch more, uh, just to get a good full scramble. The first thing we want to do is we want to locate this um, white, uh, orange okay um, and that's going to go up up against here with this other orange piece so let's uh and remember we wanted to get these two whites together so we already have two whites together so let's just go ahead and bring these two up into position okay so with orange on top okay and i mean this center orange right here that's the orange we're looking at uh, i picked up this orange white and then a white right below it okay so uh these pieces here are complete so on the left we wanted green so an orange green okay uh, so let's find the orange green piece there's an orange green right there uh let's move this orange green to the left there just happens to be a green right there if there wasn't a green there just um you know like say that was a green then just put that in that piece in this position but since this is already green let's just go ahead and turn uh these two up okay so orange green to green um back here we wanted an orange yellow so let's find the orange yellow all right so there's an orange yellow um, there happens to be a yellow piece right there. So let's take this orange yellow, match it up with that yellow. Um, and we want that to be opposite of, remember yellow is opposite of white. So let's take these two pieces and make it opposite of white. So let's bring them back to the back. So they're back here and uh, turn it up. So let's have that make some sense here. Remember, yellow is opposite of white. So th they were here. We just turned it to the back and then turned them up. Um, so opposite of uh, green is going to be blue. So we want blues over there. So orange, blue. There's an orange, blue. There happens to be a blue right there. Let's take these pieces very carefully, bring them to the right, and slide them up. Okay, so here we go. Um, we have, we've just completed, um, step number one, step number one is to locate the yellow. Okay. Put that on top, then locate the orange white with another white right below it. Uh, orange green with a green directly below it and orange yellow with a yellow directly below it and orange blue with the blue directly below it. Okay. I don't care about this piece or this piece. The only pieces I care about on the top layer here is this one. Well, obviously the center. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And then on this row is this center, this center, this one, and this one. Okay, let's move on to step number two. Okay, so in step two, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to flip this upside down so that the orange is on the bottom. So just flip it upside down. And uh, remember, we're looking to get uh, these two corners here and these two corners here. And the way that we're gonna do that is by taking uh, the corner pieces from this row up here. So not the top row, but the second uh, row over here. Um, and the way we're gonna do that is uh, we're gonna look for a green white. Okay, so let's uh, spin this around a little bit and uh, I don't see a green white up here. Um, so let's just move on. Um, inst instead, let's see if we can find a yellow green. Okay. So here is a yellow, here's a yellow green right here. So it happens to be in the correct position. Um, so, um, yellow to green, 
green to yellow. Okay, see how that works? So this color is opposite of this piece right here, or this color, and this color is opposite of this color. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep it in this position and go uh, to our U, to our UI, to our. Now, see what I mean about being very careful because the cube might fall apart on you? But there it is. It's in position. So let's continue on. Just keep rotating the cube a little bit. And uh, right here, we're looking for a uh, blue, yellow. Okay, so see this blue right there? So we're going to say blue, yellow. So we want a blue, yellow up here. And it just happens to be a blue, yellow right there. So blue to yellow, yellow to blue. Okay, that's the correct piece. It's in the correct position. Just go ahead and go to our U, to our UI, to our, and it fell in the position. Okay, let's rotate the cube. Here we're going to want a white. So that's white in there. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, white, blue. Okay, so we don't want blue to blue and white to white. Okay, we want... Uh, this piece so it's white to blue and blue to white okay so the correct piece correct position go ahead and go to our u to our ui to our okay and that piece fell in, in position rotate the cube and now we're looking for a green white just happens to be right there okay so correct piece correct position green to white white to green go ahead and go to our u to our ui to our okay so that's step number two where this piece is correct this piece is correct this piece is correct and this piece is correct all right let's go on step number three